Hello and welcome to Dax for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you another step in the process of thinking in Dax, and that's the use of variables. So in the last video, we created this measure, min not pickle, where we took the min x using an x aggregator min x, and we filtered the table where the item is not pickle, and we returned the total cost, and that returned us our $8.97. Now what if we wanted to change this to min plus max not pickle we could do something very similar right we could copy this code we get the min x we could add max x instead and let's just hit enter on that and it should be our 1495 plus 895 eight, sorry 1497 plus 897 which will give us our 2394 now this is all fine but you can see we have this repeated code here where the, we're filtering this table item not equal to pickle. So we have that in two spots in our code. So you, it's really not optimal to do things that way. Um, so you can use variables to get around those kinds of problems. So if I take this code and copy it, my filter code, I can create a var. And usually when you're creating vars, it's a good idea to put one or two underscores in front of them. Um, that helps you avoid reserved keywords, like you can't use the word table. Um, it won't let you use the word table as a var. So, But if you prefix it with underscore underscore table or underscore table, which has kind of become a kind of a generally accepted convention for variable naming, then, you know, then you have no problems with reserved words. And you can also, it's very easy to tell things that you've created in your code versus something that might be in a table somewhere. So var underscore underscore table equals and then that filter clause. And so now that var is holding that table, that filtered table for me. So then I can use it in, let's say another var where I get the min. I just take the min x of table and then my total cost. And then I can create another var for my max. Max x table total cost. And then anytime you use a var, you need a return statement. So you can create as many vars as you want, and then in the return statement, you can actually put what you want to return. Now, again, it's generally accepted best practice to first create a result or a return var where I'm going to return what I'm going to have as my result so that I don't have actually any code past the return statement other than the result, my variable. So I'm going to do min plus max and then in my return statement, I can just put my result. So there we have the min plus max not pickle, where we've created four variables, underscore underscore table, which is our filtered table, min, which is our min x of the total cost of that table, max, which is the max total cost of that table. Our result is are those two variables added together. And when we return that, we should get the same exact answer that we had before, which is 23.94. So that's it. That's variables in DAX. Very useful. You'll see a little why a little later um, in terms of the, how you can use variables to help you debug uh, and troubleshoot your DAX measures. But that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.